I've got a um, Radio Master TX16S here and a FR Sky receiver. This cable is hooked up to it so we can get some voltage telemetry out of it. This video is just going to be a quick video on how to explain how to get these sensors on your main screen. So if you want to see voltage, maybe you want to see the V-speed or the uh, altitude, you can put those variables on the main screen. Obviously you need a receiver that's bound and you have to make sure you did your discovery of your sensors down here. Once you've got it discovered and you know what the variable name is, like for voltage it's odd, it's called an A2 on this particular receiver. But once you know what it's called, we can go to the main screen and I'll show you how to put those settings or variables on the main screen. So first thing we'll do is we'll hit the return button over here in the top left. We'll get out of the screen. Now we're on the main screen. We're going to hit the bottom button, the telemetry button on the bottom. That gets you into the screen setup on OpenTX. Now let's um, hit the page key and then you can see like the top bar. I'm using the scroll wheel over here to go around the settings. I'm going to press setup. Now it's a little difficult to see. Somebody may not pick it up right away. If you'll notice the first box has a solid white line around it. The rest of them are dotted or dashed. The solid box is the one you're currently working on. So if we use the scroll wheel, for example, see now the second box is solid white. Sensor lost. And the third box. The receiver is a little close to the transmitter, so we're going to get some telemetry errors. I'm going to move it away right now. So let's say we're on the first box like we are right now. It's got a solid white line around it. We press enter on the scroll wheel. And you can see it picks a setting, throttle gauge. Well, I don't want that one, so what we can do is we can change the source and we can also change the widget. So let's hit the return key to get out of this. I'm going to hold the scroll wheel down. I'm going to select the widget. And in this case, we want the one that's called value, and it's going to default to rudder value. So I'm going to use the scroll wheel. We're going to slide around. There it is, rudder value. That's the one we want. I'm going to press enter. Now we have to pick the source. The source is what I call the variable. That's the telemetry data. So we're going to press enter on the scroll wheel. And we're going to pick telemetry, which is all the way in the bottom. You're not going to see that, so you have to use the scroll wheel to get down there. Press enter. And now you can cycle through. So we have alt, which is the altitude. But if let's say we want the battery, which is going to be called A2. There it is. Now you have several A2s. You have A2, A2 minus, A2 plus. This is what was the highest value, which is A2 plus. What was the lowest value? A2 minus. And the real time value is just called A2. So you press enter. And now you've got voltage on the main screen. We'll hit the return key a couple times. And as you can see, it's called A2. Now you may not like the word A2. That may not mean anything, and I agree, it's not something I would like to do. So what we'll do is we'll go back, we'll hit the model button over here on the right. We'll hit the page back key here, which is one up from the bottom. We're going to use the scroll wheel. We're going to come down to number 7, which is A2. We're going to long press this, and then press edit. We're going to give it a name. So we're going to press enter, and I'm going to call it Volt. Yeah. 
this can be a little tedious going through all of the um, letters here. Now I've got a capital O and a little L, so we'll go back and we'll fix that. So we'll press enter again. And there we go. So once you have it the way you want, press the return key. Now it shows volt. So that's your real-time voltage of your battery. Let's say we want to put the altimeter on the second box. We would hit the telemetry button on the bottom left. We'll hit the page forward button. We'll use the top bar, set up. We'll highlight the second box by using the scroll wheel so it's a solid line. We'll press enter. And I goofed up there, so we'll just press enter again. We'll select the widget. It's actually a long press. And then we'll go through looking for rudder value. There it is, rudder value. Press enter. Now change the variable. So tap it, go down to the bottom for telemetry. And it's on alt, which is altitude, so that's what we want. And now we've got the altimeter, which is going to fluctuate a little bit on this receiver, but that's normal. That's how you would get your telemetry on the screen. Now you also have different screen layouts. I'm not going to get into that, but you also have a couple of big buttons that you can put here. So if you prefer to have your voltage here, we can do that also. Let's uh, return out. Hold down the telemetry button. Set up widgets. Tap. And it's the same logic. See how some of them have dashes? This, the big box over here is a solid red. So we're going to move the scroll wheel to the top box here. Now it's a solid red line. We're going to press enter. And actually did the same thing. We're going to long press. Do select widget. And I messed that up. I'll do it again. And we'll scroll wheel through it looking for the one we want. Like there's a dedicated timer function you can put. This really is nice. It has a nice little graphic on it. So that would be your timer. But if you want to put your voltage here, you would just go through looking for value. That's what it's called. It always defaults to rudder. Press enter. Now we change the source to telemetry. And we'll look for volt. There it is, volt. Now we'll return out a few times, and there you go. You've got your voltage. If you don't like the color, you would hit the telemetry button. You would page over. Set up widgets. Highlight the one so it's a solid red. Press enter. Widget settings. And you can go in here and change the RGB colors. So you might want to make it all black. You would set everything to zero. Return out a few times. And now you've got your voltage in black, which is a little bit easier to read. So that's how you would set up your variables on your OpenTX radio. This would apply to FR Sky or, or Radio Master or any other radio running OpenTX. I hope that helps.